How do you follow up the last two days? I don't know. That's the thing. Huh? stuff at me this morning you know what it's been a good weekend it has been a good weekend it's your turn it's our turn this is how weird. do you follow up the last two days i don't know that's the thing like the bar set pretty high today if we're trying to top what's we happened did, the last we did the band days. thing we did the band thing shot seven bands and then now what do we do yesterday what, what was it 42 41, birds 41 birds 14 man yeah so the bar set high whether we go above or below is two to be determined. So, we always give Q a bunch of uh, a bunch of grief about always making sure he brings cookies, and he specifically threw these and said, "Dice, here you go." So, All right, welcome back to the Heartland Waterfowl YouTube channel. Before we get started, remember we need you to describe, to describe. We need you describe. to describe and prescribe and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, prescribe, yeah. and describe. Subscribe would be ideal. To de describe yeah. by commenting on all these videos, prescribe by believing in what we do, and subscribe to this channel, right? Uh, it's our final morning in Missouri. It's kind of bittersweet, right? Like it's kind of like the last day of the Missouri season, but we're also really excited about today's hunt. Also I'm excited. excited to have this guy here, but also yep. sad that this is our final day. With it the is. Band. It is. You've Season been... closes. This is our last hunt. It's been a fun. This is our fourth morning. This is our fourth hunt. Yep. And the last two have been absolutely amazing. Yep. And hopefully today's the same, or we can top it. Maybe yeah. We'll no, shoot I think a ton what, of birds and bands. I think there's today. opportunity to. The only downfall is we don't have any wind this morning, so we're all set up basically. We don't have the floaters in the water yet. We're waiting for Logan to come back with a ripper. Upon getting here, we realized we needed that ripper to get a little motion in the water and push some of this ice out. Then we'll throw the floaters, and we should be ready to go. There's a lot of birds in this area, so there's no reason why. I mean, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature, like always, but there's no reason why this shouldn't be a good hunt. So, yeah. wind would be there. nice. Yeah, but it would be real nice right now. We're still gonna get them. Yeah, right now it's zero to negative. Yeah, <laughs> the ice rippers will help a lot though for movement. It's gonna be good. I think now that we got uh, some of this wind. ice out, we got the wind picked up, the wind kind of shifted a little bit more from our back right shoulder to our, I guess mainly right behind us, maybe even a little left shoulder. They're finishing a lot better. They're finally thirsty. So it's just gonna be a, a midday shoot. What is this, it's gotta be about 10 o'clock by now. Yeah, right at 10 o'clock. So I don't know how many got down now, but it's gotta be like, what, eight or so? Maybe 10? Yeah, keep it around there. We'll just keep chipping away at them. snow goose which is kind of cool which we shot over top but just getting wrapped up here this is pretty much the uh the final wrap up for our little stretch here at home and we're gonna head to uh emporia and hunt with uh tornado alley here in a couple days 
um, and that's going to be the rest of our season. But uh, I believe that's a wrap for home. We had an incredible time. We had we ha got to hunt with some guys that we don't usually get to hunt with. We got to hunt with some other friends um, that we've hunted with over the years that we don't get to hunt with all the time because we're traveling. Um, that's what makes this fun epi or this home episode fun is being able to get with all the guys. So um, incredible week and. Uh, off to one more trip and then we're calling it a wrap for season 10. Peace.